infiltrate that meth lab and basically that's going on tonight so uh, I figure you can bring us in we, we kind of have given the uh, ambiguity that we make snuff films you left your gun in your holster we just have to hope that they uh, wow. don't check wow. our gun wow you know wow you learn, you're learning. Yeah, you're learning. you all hate. I'm you know, my first bust, I mean, I went in with my badge pinned to my shirt. Yeah, you know, I mean, previously, previously I've... My I've first only... infiltration, yeah. I had my badge right there. And they just thought it was a joke shop item, so I got away with it. So mm -hmm. they'll probably just figure you're, you're goofing around. Right? Yeah, you see, previously I've only been, you know, used to desk work a lot. Yeah. You know, I've, I've been doing a lot of the, the psychological aspect of uh, criminal minds, you know? Yeah. I, I take care of that. Yeah. So I don't actually work out in the field that much. Usually, I'm called in as an expert to interrogate people. I show the I show the greens like this yeah. guy how to do things. So that's what we're gonna do today. And even if he is on the street, you know, he's got an inside with me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Huh? There so, you go. There we go. It's a good kit. So uh, this is it. Um, so from this point forward, the only time we'll ever address you as police. Will of course be you know if we're in trouble. Remember yeah. the walk we uh, are showing you the walk. So like, get your hand right near, right near your dick, right, right near your dick, mm -hmm. and just hook your hand somewhere in there. And now this hand is free. It's just kind of like, kind of like you're protecting yourself. And you're just bringing it all about, okay? Right. And you just walk, just thrust and pull it a little bit, okay? So as long as we do that, we'll be fine. The entrance is around the side, so. Yeah, well, basically we're gonna head in now. So if you want, if you want to leave one of your camera guys out here, and you know, everyone wants to come in, two will be probably a little crazy. So if one just wants to hang out here, and we'll bring the other guy in, and you can come if you want. I don't. I don't know. We're going. Yo, yo, yo. I'm down for whatever. I'm down for whatever. Up for anything. Homies. Anybody here? Fresh yeah. off committing a felony. We just want the... You hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like water dripping. Oh, it's coming from the... It also sounds like a guy wearing pink pants just going crazy. Oh, muffins mm. coming from down here. Towers. Yeah, they're right down there. Oh, jeez, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 You should uh, probably uh, let him go. We're here for the service. No, um, we're here to stop you. Um, oh, cease. Oh, that's too much, too much to the call. <laughs> They're gonna kill Yo, me. Yo, you should They're stop that. Yeah, hey, that guy looks like he's pretty cool. Un uncomfortable. Chill. Yeah. On the DL. Just uh, what's up? 
Nothing can save you now. Yeah. Not, sh you know, the gun. He looks like needed, Yeah, right he's, now. On, he's just, not cool. You Guns. got him, right? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, now that. It's a lot, guys. Oh, boy. I, 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 I'm, I mean, blinded, I'm down with the illegal things, but that was. Oh, my gosh. He's done. Ow! Ow! Jeez! Ah! Oh, okay, checkmate. Oh, man. Okay. You came to checkers. That's good. Surprise! <sighs> Come on, get in this room until the great one decides yeah. what he's going to do with you. Oh, no, okay. I don't care. Sure. What kind of rinky dink cult you got going on here? Uh, you know, it's the fastest growing cult in America. It's like the smallest cult I've ever seen. Yeah, well, less is more. Alright, alright, alright. Seriously. Please don't interrupt me when I'm meditating. Alright, well, maybe next time you won't meditate while I'm pressed right up against your face. Just trying to figure out a solution. And you guys can't come out until we say so. Until we say so? What pathetic law enforcement people. Look, he didn't even have a gun. Ha. <laughs> you didn't bring your gun? I must have left it on the table when I was cleaning it. You know, you should, you should maybe try a little bit more meditation. Yeah, maybe I will. Thanks. Yeah, will you take this one? You watch. Okay. Okay. Are you coming back? Yeah. What am I supposed to do to entertain them? I guess I'll just have to improvise. Yeah. Hey guys. So um, I'm gonna be keeping you company for the next couple hours, but it's okay, cause we're gonna improv. You know what that means? It means you're gonna take on different characters and different roles, different things, and it's okay. Everyone can do it. Come on, guys, let's go outside. Hey guys, glad you can make it. We're gonna play a little improv while we wait for your call to execution. How's that sound? Awesome. Okay, so you guys know what improv is, huh? Okay, idea. great. So, in this scene, you're a washed-up basketball player and you're his sadistic alcoholic coach. And I'm a lemming, okay? And scene start. Hey, coach. Hey, player. I think we need to come up with a, a game plan here. Yeah, um, I'll shoot some hoops. Let's have some fun, play ball. I think we should shoot some three-pointers through that door over there. Yeah, three, yeah. Yeah, three-pointers to the door. And um, we'll probably win the game against the varsity team. No, I'm saying we need to play a little zone defense here. I need you to set a pick while I drive the lane right up that door. You're really into this in thing, aren't you? You're just okay. really getting into it. Good scene, guys. Way to go, that was some good improv. But this time, okay, you are an out of work actress and you are his agent, or her agent, trying to get her back on the uh, streamline, okay? Why don't you help us? What are you doing? And you are a cameraman and I am George Clooney. Okay, and scene, go. I'm out of work. I think we better make some phone calls for help. Okay, in this scene, you are uh, a person being executed, and you are the guard that's executing him. And I am the jury in the background watching the execution take place. Okay? And start! Oh, please don't execute me. I'll be good now, I promise. You're kidding me? That's not even part of my job. I'm gonna stab you with this needle, and then you're gonna be dead. Uh, what you gonna do? You are a hobo who's worthless in life, and you are his ex-best friend from high school, coming back to the hometown, finding him on the street, and rehabilitating him into society, and I am a piece of leather. Scene. Pete, there you are. 
Holy smokes, you're all washed up! Hey, what do you say? I just leave this house through that door over there and escape this little dog behind us. There's one behind. Forget everything. Forgiveness. Your body's here. You just slept with my wife. I don't think that's very forgivable. Do you? Do you think that's forgivable? No, no, of course it not. It was my wife. I love her. You're not even there. Seeing as I'm a Catholic and you're wax, we need to coexist to actually make things work. Trump, Trump, I just wanted to show you this picture. This picture I don't want to see that picture. Well, what, do you, what do you think about all the crimes that happen because of guns? And, and the fact that Canada doesn't have any of those. But I think it's guns. a damn shame that we don't have a gun right now. <laughs> this bozo does. Well, do you, do you really think a gun is the answer in this situation? Don't you think there could be other answers? Like maybe, maybe utilization of a door? Or maybe some kind of distraction? Maybe? I see what you're saying. I really don't think guns are the answer here. No. We don't even need it. We just need to plant his fears. Right. Maybe we should turn his fears against him. Yes. Let's do it. And see. Oh. You think that was good? You hear my ghost song? It's going to be wilder. Okay, for this next. No, hey, you know what? For this next scene, I got an idea. Can I? Can I come up with one? Sure. Yeah, I want to improv. I want to improv. You are an abused child. An abused child, and we are your parents. Can I be a rock star abused child? Yes, you can be a rock star abused child. I got a good idea. And our friend over here, he is your rock star lover. And we don't like you with your rock star lover. No, no, no not us. And we'll oh. probably abuse you if we catch you going anywhere near him. Yeah, see, we're pals, we're friends. Oh, ah, get it? Yeah, because you're abusing me. You better hide from us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you better go. Oh. We're pretty mean to you. Yeah, oh, just it's like hide and seek with your abusive parents. Yeah. You coming? I'm going to stay behind and uh, try to get these shots. Fine. Get all you want. Ah, <laughs> Um, that guy was weird, man. I think we lost the other camera guy. He turned out it wasn't a meth lab operation. It was a cult. It was a cult. I personally have a bit of a thing about cults. Those guys weird me out. You weird wouldn't... me out too. Well, I'm in full agreement with you. You can hang around and find a camera guy if you want. Other than that, you know, we're done. I'm done. I'm throwing it in. I I'm going to see what kind of shots I can get in here. So, uh, okay. all, all right. right. Well, hey, best of luck to you. Yeah. No, thanks for coming out with us. That's, that's your problem. Hey, hey, mom and dad. Hope you don't abuse me. <laughs> Where the hell are the prisoners? What'd you do with the cops? Oh, um. Oh, I, I, I guess they left. They left? What? You f***ing let them leave? Yeah, but at least they left their cameraman. What should we do with them? Let's improvise! <laughs> This special edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law.